one day before the NESS exam of October 28th and what that you need to do. See, a day before the exam, one final revision of the speciality that you are in appearing has to be through a PowerPoint slide and at least minimum of two grand tests of 80-80 questions of recent one kindly do it and also and scroll through notes in the ebook session in speed and I mean take rest start going to sleep by around 9.30 to 10 o'clock and after that you take a complete rest and next day morning you wake up with a solid prayer and blessings from your parents. Now before you go on to the exam breakfast is must so you need to take breakfast because two important distractors of any competitive exam is number one is inadequate sleep number two is hypoglycemia. So this two should not affect the natural process of this exam from your side. So kindly go ahead adequately with what I said and also have suitable and a preferable dress on you and what you feel uh, that uh, mean is always you will have some sentiments and you, you can have and those things that you on you and you go to the examination hall and do not look into anything other than giving an, your exam with a proper focus and an 80 question. This 80 question exam, you need to enjoy this exam. This is not like any other exam. Only if you enjoy this exam, your performance will be very good. So what do you mean by that? You need to take this as like a 80 patients that you are in and for 80 patients there is a discussion, I need to design on them. So that is how you need to look into this exam. Now in this 80 questions, I will tell you, 40 to 50 questions will be very easy. Put together both the speciality and the federal branch that you belong to. So you will be able to get on to 40 to 50 with ease because you are prepared. Now the 30 questions will be decision making. 30 questions is the decision making. You can't leave any 30 questions and this is an 80 out of 80 you need to answer. So this 30 questions you need to think. So what you do is you just finish those first 40 to 50 questions in one go. You have, you will not have any time, I mean inadequacy problem in this exam. So what you do is you finish that and 30 questions you spend more time. And when you spend more time means not too much of time that could uh, be in, uh, mean a disaster. So what you do is with this 30 question which you have a difficulty, what you do is you just go on to it. And as I always tell you, when you answer a particular option that you should have a reason why you are giving this answer for this question because the NESS is that way. There should be a reason and that reason has to be either you have seen a case long back and you have taken a decision on that patient that way because your professor or chief have told you that or you have come across read through a, a specialty book, it has been that way or you have attended a class that the faculty has been saying if the question like this and this is a situation like this you need to take. So those kind of references you should quickly think and go back and to bring in those into the paper. Only that mean that is the exercise that you need to do for this 30 questions. In this 30 question may not all 30 be correct at least if of 30 is 20 is correct or 20 plus is correct you are completely in the game and you can definitely do it. So, the decision making is this 30 question, I mean do not be very happy and satisfied with that 40 and 50 answer that everybody will do it and because the people are appearing for it are all equally preparing. So you, your challenge is on this 30 question you should do well, understood? So again I am stressing upon the point that you have to attend all 80 out of 80. If you have a sentiment that I do not want to attend 80 out of 80 then you can leave only one question at the most that you do not know anything, so 79 minimum. So if I recommend 80 has the highest chances, yes, of uh, getting a topmost score. It is like rank 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 like that. So I wish you all the best and all the success uh, for a great exam ahead of the October session of NESS and uh, go with self-confidence, full confidence and self-respect in you that you will be able to do it. So do not have any other thought, just go on to the exam, enjoy the exam, do well, attend all the questions. Think of your speciality in your mind and uh, just give a beautiful exam and come out and you will achieve what you intend to achieve, okay? So the labor that matters, yes, that labor will give you the appropriate results after the exams and definitely both will coincide with each other. So it's nothing to uh, get on to it, just go ahead and you will be a successful person and you will be a winner and definitely you will achieve it and definitely you will go on to the speciality. So that confidence is very important until you reach the final stage of your admission into that speciality that you wanted. I wish you all the best and all the success. I bring in all the wishes once again from behalf of all the faculty members of Speed Medical Institute and team of Speed to you for a grand success in this upcoming exam of NESS 
October session 2023. Congratulations and all the best.